All right, today we're looking at the Ultra Chiltec Silver uh, CPU cooler. This is actually a new addition to the Ultra line. If you're familiar with the old Chiltecs, uh, they were Peltier coolers. They had an external box. Now there's a new Chiltec, which is called the Chiltec Black, which actually has the Peltier cooler with a box that's actually built into the cooler. It's actually down here. Now this is something completely different. This is the Chiltec Silver. Uh, now what this is is basically uh, the Chiltec minus the Peltier unit. So there's no thermoelectric cooling. It's just a straight heat sink. And basically what happened is that people realized that the Tiltex were really good CPU coolers. They gave you quite a good overclock. Uh, they give you pretty good performance, but uh, people realized that the thermoelectric unit wasn't turning on at all unless you had a pretty hefty overclock and you're getting some pretty high temps. Uh, and that was due to the fact that just the way the cooler was, even though it was going through the heat pipes were going through a Peltier cooler, the actual uh, cooler itself and the fins and the fan were doing a great job of keeping everything cool all the way up to like you know a pretty decent overclock. Um, and the Peltier wasn't being used unless you're doing some extreme, more extreme stuff. So basically, they gave this, they put this out there for everybody that doesn't need the Peltier cooler, uh, that doesn't need to draw the extra power from your computer, uh, from your power supply. They don't want to hook it up. They don't want to go through any, any more complications. They want a simple air cooler, and this turns out to be an excellent air cooler, uh, just in itself. Pretty much the same design. What really makes it special, as far as I'm concerned, uh, is that the fan is already uh, kind of mounted on the CPU cooler, and also uh, that it's a very, very nice pulse width modulation uh, fan. So it is got a uh, thermal sensor in there. It's going to automatically adjust depending on the temperature, even when it's cranked up fully, fully, fully to its maximum RPM, which is actually 3,000 RPM uh, for this fan. It's actually only 30 decibels. The rest of the time, it's below 18 decibels uh, when it's on the lower setting. So it's extremely quiet. Uh, it's one of the uh, most quiet. CPU coolers on the market right now as far as uh, standard design, ones that have pulse width modulation. Uh, when they get down to those really low RPMs, it is very, very quiet. <clears throat> um, so that's really, really nice. Now it's got four heat pipes. Uh, they are gas-filled heat pipes, which are really nice. Uh, if you want to take a look at them, check this out. They do have the uh, exposed copper core. So your CPU block is the exposed copper core. That's going to transfer the most amount of heat uh, from your CPU, uh, your heat CPU's heat spreader into the heat pipes and then up through here. Now these are gas filled heat pipes. What happens is uh, that it's basically a liquid when it's down here. When it gets hot, it's going to turn into a gas that's going to evaporate and it's going to go up uh, through here because they're sealed. It's going to increase the pressure. It's going to move up and that's going to transfer the heat uh, into the cooling fins, you know? And then basically from there, the fan's going to put cold air through there and that's going to cool it down. And that's basically uh, what's going to happen with that. Now these are very nice uh, aluminum fins on the inside. Uh, these are nickel plated copper heat pipes and then obviously the copper plating or the nickel plating has been removed down here where they lapped uh, the heat sink so that it would be completely flat. Uh, now you also, just so you know, included in the box, you get your uh, thermal grease. Uh, which is obviously uh, very important to have. Make sure you use, uh, I would recommend on this type of thermal grease, it's a little bit thicker, um, about the size of a small pea, uh, and then basically just tighten it down, take it off, take a look at it, make sure that it's covering the entire uh, internal heat spreader on the CPU, and then it covers the entire uh, bottom of this. Basically, you want it to cover this area right here. It doesn't need to go all the way to each edge or each corner, but the CPUs are usually right in the middle, so you want to get at least this area completely flat and perfectly uh, covered uh, in your thermal grease. Uh, also included uh, in the box, very nice uh, set of brackets and mounting hardware. Uh, very nice stuff, actually. It's uh, high quality, really good stuff. And uh, what's good about this is that if you are unsure about what type of CPU you're going to use, uh, what type of motherboard you're going to use. This basically works on just about everything. The only thing this does not work on is the new 1156 socket uh, from Intel. Uh, but everything else besides that, and I'm talking about like some pretty weird stuff, 754 uh, for your Opterons and your uh, 939s, your AM2s, uh, your AM2 Pluses, your LGA775, uh, your 1366, and I'm missing one, your AMD AM3 are also going to work on here. So that's a lot of different CPU motherboard combinations that you'll work on. And uh, basically, this is the type of CPU that if you want to do a mild overclock, maybe from 2.8 or 2.6 to like 3.2, 3.4, it's the right price. It's very quiet. It's only going to crank itself up as far as noise and uh, RPM on the fan are concerned when it really needs to. It's got a built-in uh, pulse width modulation with a thermal sensor in there. And when it gets really hot, it's going to crank out the fan, keep things nice and cool. Uh, even then, though, even when it's fully cranked up, it's never going to go over 30 decibels. So uh, definitely a really, really nice uh, CPU cooler. And it's a new option if you don't want to go for the Black Series Chiltec, which just came out on the market recently, uh, which is actually quite powerful, I might add. Uh, this 
is right up your alley. It's going to get you your basic overclock, and it's much more affordable uh, than the regular chill tech. They dropped uh, quite a few uh, dollars off the price. So really, really nice stuff from Ultra. It's uh, the Chill Tech Silver CPU Cooler. If you have any questions, feel free to email me, and I'll see you guys next time. If you want to get some more information on the Ultra Chill Tech Silver CPU Cooler, just type in ULT40493 into any major search engine. For Computer TV, I'm Albert.